Common. He is on a mission to reimagine the nation's criminal justice system. About 96% of incarcerated people in this country have a chance of returning to their communities someday. And Common says they should come home as better people. Jerika Duncan recently met with him at Stateville Correctional Center. That's a maximum security prison in Common's home state of Illinois. Every time I've visited people incarcerated, they said, man, we just want people to know we're human beings. We were with rapper and activist Common. How you doing, man? As he unveiled a music studio inside the walls of this maximum security prison just outside Chicago. One of the things that has allowed me to fulfill my purpose in life is music. And I think this can be such a, a, a unifying factor for people who are incarcerated and also an expression of themselves where they get to learn about themselves and feel empowered and feel like they are valued. Funded by private donations and by Commons nonprofit, the music program is aptly named a rebirth of sound. During the 12 week course, groups of nine inmates who had to apply to the program will learn songwriting, audio engineering, and music producing. Give your boy a second chance. If one of these inmates makes a hit record <laughs> or goes viral, a beat, anything, what next? I mean, that is going to happen. I'm putting it out there. First of all, I'd be overjoyed, and it would be a powerful way for us to hear from them and connect with them. Now I'm into the youth. Make and music transcends so many things. 43-year-old Jarmel Thomas sees music as a way of collaborating with others and connecting with his passion. Hi. He says he loves Mozart and even studied music and business marketing in college before being incarcerated at the age of 26. You said sitting here is a full circle moment for, moment me. for you. Yeah. How so? Because when I first uh, was transferred to Stateville, this was receiving, part of receiving, and I was in that cell right over your shoulder in 229. And I was extremely depressed and extremely suicidal, taking a lot of cocktail of psych meds. I didn't talk to anybody. Now I'm sitting here conversing with you. I mean, God has transformed my life. Despite never having a criminal record, in 2004, Thomas stabbed his ex-girlfriend to death. He was convicted of first-degree murder and armed robbery. He's scheduled to be released in 2070. Do you feel remorse? Absolutely. I, there's not a day that I don't think about her. I didn't realize that I had mental health issues. It, it was just I had a lot of unresolved anger issues that I wasn't aware that I had. These days, Thomas is working toward a master's degree in restorative justice and Christian ministry. He hopes to one day be a counselor and says the music program is just another positive outlet. Music is therapeutic. It allows you to just release whatever frustration you may have at that moment. People judge us based upon that one bad, terrible moment in our lives. A lot of us are no longer that person, you know. There's a history of critics when it comes to prisons and they get to watch television. They can go back to school and get degrees. They get three square meals a day, shelter. Now they get music? You say what to those people? You can't just throw people away. I mean, what God didn't throw, everybody makes mistakes. He didn't throw them away. Don't throw us away, just give us our opportunity. It's time to try something different. A better day for you means a better day for the staff here. We're all in this together. Warden Dave Gomez has worked in the prison system for more than 30 years. He says programs like these develop incentives for inmates and create a safer environment for everyone. Other programs have shown benefits. If you take a therapeutic community, uh, like my previous assignment, which was at Sheridan Correctional Center, it was a therapeutic environment focused on substance abuse. Their recidivism rate was 10 to 15 points better than the rest of the states. 10 to 15 points better? Yes, ma'am. This is how I'm feeling. I can't change this. So Man, why not this? We have to do something different. If you always do what you always done, you always get what you always got. I want you to express my apologies to my community. Man. Yes, sir. But for Common, what's always been done, he says, amounts to an unjust system. When you hear people say, well, wait a minute, you know, these are some of the toughest criminals, whether it's sexual assault, murder, why do they deserve to have music? That's a privilege. Well, 
Music is a gift for sure. Anything I say in this song. One of the things that like scientists can tell you is that, you know, when you're a young person, a lot of things that you do, your brain is not developed to make good decisions in certain ways. And it's no excuse, it's no um, justification, but it's an understanding. Now, how do we correct things from this point? And I don't believe it should be a consistent dehumanizing of that person. And this country, this is a country of second chances. This is a country of opportunity. Had an idea to put me in the booth. Redemption. And redemption. You said the scene, the scene, through the smoke screen. This, this system is not serving those who are incarcerated. Redemption should be afforded. Healing should be afforded. The music is an opportunity to do that. The students in the music program could get time off their sentence if they are eligible, but it's a small incentive. The real incentive here is the chance to express their creativity and collaborate. And it's important to note the idea to bring the music uh, behind bars originally came from a 31-year-old criminal defense attorney in Chicago named Ari Williams, who we did speak to as well. Um, but I think it's the idea. These people are human. A lot of them right. will enter back into society. So what are we doing to prepare them and allow them to you know, express themselves so that they're more likely to thrive. He said it best, though. That guy said, you always do what you always do. You get what you always got. We all have to start rethinking yeah. the prison system because yeah. yeah. it, it ain't working. Yeah. Rehabilitation looks different for each individual. Exactly. Rehabilitation right. is the word. It's not a forever sentence. Right. Rika, thank you very much.